driving up the Ledbetter Point. These folks called said they're on a Lexus. They drove seven to eight miles past the closed area, and they're at the very tip of Ledbetter Point. It's a federal game reserve. You're not supposed to be up there. I've called the state patrol and advised them I'm driving up there. That keeps me from getting in trouble. I don't know if this is a newer or older Lexus. I don't know anything about it other than they said there were two people in it, and they are at the very tip. And we are right now at high waters at 430, and it's 359. So they're almost high water. So like a 50-50 chance that we get them. If they're clear around Leadbetter, out on one of those stand spits, then they're done. We'll have to figure out a different way to get them out. I'll just take the people and pick them up and bring them back to town. So that's where I'm headed now. It's uh, five miles to Oysterville, then three miles up the closed area, and then another five miles to the end of Leadbetter Point. So I've still got another eight, eight miles, of, eight, at least eight or nine miles to drive before I get to where they're at. Better. I'm still two miles to close the area. I've traveled just about four and a half miles, five miles past a closed area, and I just spotted their brake lights in front of me about another mile and a half up. Fortunately for us, they did not go around the end of Leadbetter because I don't know if I could even get up there with this truck. I don't know if I'd want to risk it. Anyway, I saw their tail light just a second ago, and I got another one mile and a half to go. Well, see if we can't get them turned around. I'm just hoping I got enough rope to get them, get them out of there. I think they pulled down by the water, and I, I tried to drive down the by the water a minute ago, and it uh, sunk down about four inches. So I'm going to stay up here a little bit higher. You're not supposed to be driving up here, but I don't have a lot of options. I can't drive down below. It's just too uh, too soft. That's what happened to them. They got in there and buried them. I'm gonna see if I can see what my tracks look like here. That's their tracks over there. And uh, see, I'm sinking in a little bit. Not horrible, but I'm still sinking in enough that it. Uh, I'm trying to kind of find my way where I can stay. Uh, the real bad stuff. That's what happened when they got down low. And when you go down low, uh, there's just no bottom to it. I think I got enough rope here. I can probably stay about 200 feet away from them and pull them backwards. Back up to them. I don't want to nose up to them. I got to pull them out backwards anyway. So we're gonna back up to them and use all my rope. I don't want to get down by the water because that's that's where they buried it.
going to go down where you're at because there's no bottom. Okay. As you noticed. So I'm going to put the hook on the back side? Uh, do you have a hook on it? Yeah. Yes. on there you can see where it's really starting to bottom out here and I don't want to get into that so I'm going to throw one more rope on it and then uh, we'll give him a light tug too if we can't get him back out of the hole Okay, hang on. Have you got your traction control off? Hey, is your traction control off? It's gotta be off. That's what you don't have any power, do you? You you don't have any power. That's because your traction control is on. Take your traction control off, but Listen, I'm probably gonna have to bump you a couple times. I'm gonna have to probably bump you a couple times, but when I stop, don't just keep digging your wheels in, okay? If I stop pulling, if it stops moving, just stop me back up and bump you again. And we're gonna have to bump you a couple times. We're pulling from one side, it makes it a lot harder. Uh, can you pull that hook out of there? I want, I want to look, I've got some more hooks. We might be able to get on both sides. Let's unscrew that hook. If I got another hook, we'll put one on both sides. It'll make it, no, no, I unscrew your hook. Let me see what it looks like. Okay. Undo this hook here. Oh. oh. If I got another one like that, we'll pull from both sides. It'll be an even pull. Just unscrew it, all you gotta do. I think I'm clear, though. Huh? I think I'm clear. Let you what? Try, I, let me try to drive off, off. I think I'm clear. I don't think you are. Otherwise, you would have kept coming. You're not moving. Did the wheels move? Front tire spun, but no, the back ones did. You, got the, spin? you got the track control off, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get this off here. I want to look at that. If I got them, if I got another one to match it, we'll get from we'll get it from both sides. It was it off for a while? Yeah. It what? It like got heated and it just said got too hot. It's a safety feature, bro.
That's good. got down to the area where she says you're not supposed to drive past that point we have a park ranger there so I have a feeling the park ranger is going to have a discussion with the driver of the Lexus as to why he was in a closed area uh, pretty tough to argue you drove past three signs that say closed so we'll see I don't know if you'll write him a ticket or not we still we still have three more miles to Oysterville approach and uh Park Rangers following us, so we'll see see what he has to say when we get there. This young ranger is pretty nice, pretty nice young man. That's the ranger right behind him.